didn't know much about feminism at all. What's interesting is I, I kind of became a feminist when I came to the United States. Um, and I'm, I'm curious about why that is. I think I was always a feminist in terms of my beliefs and, and my stance um, and the way that I value women in society and, and want to stand up for our rights and um, increase our value in terms of pay, in terms of how we're seen uh, and treated in general. Um, so I always think that those thoughts and, and, uh, and ideas were there and they came from my culture. However, my understanding of feminism and the movement, uh, different movements actually, um, as they evolved in the United States and around the world, um, I didn't learn about those things until I came to the mainland, to the U.S. mainland. I'm going to look at uh, what are called condensation symbols, uh, the ways in which women and the feminist movements um, are described in newspaper discourse, news discourse, particularly newspapers in three countries, in the Bahamas, in Barbados, and in Jamaica, in the, what, we, what, we, what is known as the Anglophone Caribbean. A couple years ago, I got a grant to attend an intensive seminar series uh, or a series of workshops in Barbados at the University of the West Indies. Um, and there I learned about gender and development and I was certified in gender and development studies. And I started a project where I started looking at um, images of women in the Caribbean, particularly African Caribbean women. I, I found some really, really interesting things um, in terms of how women were described in news discourse um, back in the 1940s and 50s, an older study that was done. I came back and I started researching. CBS News in the United States did this three-part series on feminism, and it was the first time anyone had done this kind of thing, an expose on what feminism was and the meaning of it. And they, they were showing pictures of women protesting on the streets and doing all these interesting things. I became interested in you know, whether or not CBS's uh, coverage, uh, that three-part series on feminism, affected news outlets in other parts of the world, particularly North America. So in the Caribbean then, if this is what happened March 1970, did anything happen in terms of uh, how women and feminism was, were described in news outlets in the Bahamas, in Barbados, in Jamaica? Did that have an effect? It was this sort of a trickle-down thing that happened to uh, affect the way that these things happened in these countries. I would not have called myself a feminist uh, before I came to the United States and learned about the history of the movements and now understand myself to be a feminist.